you guys are also tinkering on your own hardware wallet. Like, and that's a really, really promising project too, because it's a hardware wallet designed to be easy to build by others just by purchasing general computational devices. And so tell me a bit more about the Spectre Do-It-Yourself hardware wallet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Spectre Do-It-Yourself uh, wallet is basically a project which uh, mostly Stepan is working on. Um, and yeah, it's just you, you can basically order a, spe uh, a specific uh, board from any kind of uh, store that that's uh, selling it. So it's uh, it's uh, offered by a lot of uh, electronic providers. It's just generic hardware. Um, you can also use it with some either with uh, just connecting it directly or air gapped with an SD card or with a QR code scanner. Uh, and then you basically the, the QR codes the SD card is is part of the um, of the uh, board itself. So it's part with with the screen and everything. The QR code you need to purchase additionally, the scanner, uh, which again, it's, it's just generic hardware. Uh, you, you can order this in generic hardware store. Uh, and then you just kind of, uh, put them together. So there's no soldering needed or something like that. You just kind of, uh, if you want to, to make it yourself like this, then you just take a few like these small pins and connect it uh, together. And you have this your own your own hardware wallet basically, uh, just from generic components. Now, I mean, this seems like a lot of trouble to go through. Why would someone do this themselves? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the main reason I'd say to to choose a do-it-yourself hardware wallet is supply chain attacks. Uh, the second reason I think that a lot of people want to do this just because it's really, really cool and it's really, really fun project. So if you do this over the weekend, it's a lot of fun. Uh, maybe not for a lot of normies, but a lot of Bitcoiners uh, find it very, very much fun. Uh, 